Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Check it out. Yo. Feel the rhythm on the bass bar. Better feel the rhythm on the bass bar. Hip and the woman come from the wrong one. Yes, man. Is rising up, thousand people on the dance floor. Jump it up. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Andrew of Netflix and Chills Tabletop Gaming. Coming to you through the power of the internet from the Chills Cars Collectible Game Room. I hope everybody's having a magnificent Monday. Continues to have an awesome Monday night. As you can see, I'm uh, running solo tonight. Uh, my good friend Caleb uh, could not join this video tonight uh, due to conflicting work schedules. Uh, but I think I can manage without him. Uh, we're not going to be doing a whole lot. We're going to do some announcements. Um, uh, first thing we have is we have a uh, giveaway this month. Um, uh, and we'll save that towards the end because there are some uh, stipulations to joining the giveaway and being a, uh, being able to win. So we'll, we'll get with that towards the end of the uh, video. Um, just some announcements. Um, I reached out today to a couple LGSs, and this is something I just wanted to bring up uh, when it comes to um, new TCGs. And, and trying to help them grow and build and becoming something. Uh, so, uh, as you guys know, I'm a, the first ever United States community champion through Legion's Realms at War. Hey, hey, Amber. Uh, my admin is here, keeping an eye on things. Um, uh, uh, and I've been asked the question here a lot lately. Um, why do I receive free items and merchandise from uh, Future Lore Studios, Creators, Legions, Realms at War. And I try to be as uh, transparent as I can as a content creator and just uh, that's who I am as a person. I'm very transparent with those kinds of things. Um, so I'm going to break it down. Um, <laughs> I want to uh, break it down um, so that everybody understands. So. The, the, the stuff that Future Lore Studios sends me, um, it's one, to help promote their game. To, uh, I, I in no way, shape, and form am affiliated with them at all. I always like to say that. Um, but the items they send me um, is to help promote the game, to help uh, build up some hype for the game and things like that. Um, but the items I get are also not free either, and you guys have to understand. I know that you, some of you think as a content creator we just sit behind a camera and we uh, open free merchandise and that's it. Me and the Vetflix team, um, Caleb, uh, my wife Amber, uh, our friend Julie, Opal, Marcelo, uh, Samuel, are, are a very, very massive team. Um, we put a lot of work into what we do when it comes to promoting Legion's Realms at War. Uh, we just went to TCG Con, as most of you know, um, promoted a game there, um, showed new players how to play. Um, I'm constantly um, updating things on the Legion's Realms at War community page. I'm constantly putting things on Facebook and other social media sites to help build up the game and hype for the game and let people know it's out there. So uh, it's not exactly free merchandise it probably doesn't seem like i put a ton of work into it and me me and my team but we do we we i spend probably about 70 80 percent of my day on social media um building up the game i um uh, i am constantly reaching out to lgs's not in just my town but the surrounding towns and getting them in contact with future lore studios in hopes that they'll uh, look into the game and possibly carry it in their stores. So the merchandise that I get is yes, it's not costing me anything except for a little bit of hard work. So um, I just want to clarify that because I know I've had a few people um, hit me up and ask me, well, how are you getting free merchandise and how do I get free merchandise? Um, I put a, we put a lot of work into it and I'll just leave it at that. Um, and that's kind of what I want to talk tonight. Tonight we're not going to do any um, box breaks. Uh, we're not going to do any um, pack cracks or anything like that. Um, I just want to talk to you guys about passion and, and what it means to me, especially with um, uh, 
cutting it out. I'm sorry, hold on. I might be having some audio issues. Let me see if uh, I can rectify that. And freezing a bit. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Everything seems to be running perfect on my end. So it could just be the, the your phone. I'm not really sure. Um, if anybody else having issues, please let me know real quick uh, as I try to continue this video. It's, oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, it's, it's, this stuff's not easy. It's hard. I'm constantly dealing with audio issues. Um, I'm running late on tonight's stream because my computer wanted to give me issues. Um, I put money into the stream, you know, computers, mics, cameras, you know, because I have to have dual cameras to be able to do box breaks and things like that. So I put a ton of money into this stuff uh, and um, a lot of time. So that's what I'm trying to say. Like, this is, this is, this is easy. Being a content creator isn't always the easiest. You're always having some kind of issues. Um, but anyways, what I want to talk to you guys about tonight is passion. Um, especially when it comes to helping promote a new game like Legion's Realms of War. Uh, for me, passion is, you know, you can go to your local game store, you can play the game there, and um, you can leave it at that. Or you do what I do, and this is what I, I am hoping so, most of you are doing or are willing to do. Look around your surrounding towns and cities and areas and f try to find local game stores. And then what you do is you reach out to those local, local game stores. And I know that it can be difficult sometimes um, reaching out to a, a store that you don't know or somebody you don't know saying, hey, you guys should check out this game. Because most of the time when you do that, people automatically assume that you're selling them something. Uh, but I always try to start off with, hey, uh, I'm Andrew of Netflix and Chills. I'm a content creator. Um, I'm no way, shape, or form affiliated with the company Future War Studios or Game Legions Runs at War. But it is a game that I'm passionate about. And I just want to see if you might be interested in carrying. I let them know, hey, Future Lore Studios also does, you know, free shipping, um, free customs, and um, no tax. So that's kind of a way to lean it lean into the LGS checking them out. Um, I reached out to two different LGSs today, um, and the names of those companies were uh, I don't want to lie, guys. So I, I was super busy today. Knock them out. So the first one is Level Up Games and Hobbies, and that is in Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, Knoxville, Tennessee is about four to five hours away from me, but I found that uh, store through Facebook, went in, looked at some of the reviews. They got some really, really good reviews. The store's photos looked awesome. I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and reach out. Contacted them. Heard, talked back and forth a little bit. I'm not sure if they're going to actually be contacting Legion's Realms or Future War Studios. I'm hoping they will, but it seems positive. Um, and then uh, the other company uh, business that I ran across today was, uh, hold on, it, it was a few, and I'm sorry. Man, I should have been more prepared, and I'm so sorry. Um, oh yeah, Camden uh, Cards and Games, and that is in Camden, Tennessee, which is about an hour and a half. And they seemed very, very interested in um, Legion Realms at War. Um, I sent them the website, I, uh, you know, uh, so they could look at the, some of the cards. I sent them uh, the Future Lore Studios um, email. So they could email them, and he actually told me, hey, I'm emailing them right now. Um, I haven't heard back from Taylor Howell to see how that conversation went, but I'm sure he'll let me know at some point how that, that conversation went. Uh, they also had a pretty awesome store. It looked really, really busy by what I saw on the uh, pictures online stuff. And uh, we actually are, me and Caleb and maybe a couple other members of the uh, Vetflix team, we're actually um, looking to go up to Camden here in the next couple of weeks because uh, the owner of that store actually wanted to sit down and also do an interview. You know, give a little bit more publicity for their store. And then that way we can also bring up our um, Legion's things uh cards and decks and stuff and show them the game the mechanics how it works uh so that give it a little bit more hype when you're passionate about something uh like i am with legions realms of war and most of the people in the netflix team are uh that's what i mean about passion you gotta go beyond uh just going to your local local game store playing it you gotta start reaching out to these other shops and local areas and uh that's what i'm challenging you all to do reach out to local game stores 
um, whether it's an hour away, a few hours away, maybe even states away. If you're from like me, I'm military. Um, I've lived in Clarksville, Tennessee my entire life. I actually grew up in Missouri. Reach out to some of those places in your hometowns and see if it's something. I even contacted a couple in my hometown, um, but I'm not so sure that they even know how Facebook Messenger works because my hometown is very small of like 5,000 people and, uh, you know, technology is a little... Uh, a little outdated there so um it's, it's some of those places that when i go down down there next time to visit family um i plan on stopping in there to those stores and actually meeting them personally and talking to them about that stuff so that's what i'm challenging you guys to do. go uh, uh, above and beyond if you're passionate about legions realms or like i am i know there's a lot of people are i see it in the legions uh discord community page quite often how people are uh just really really into this game and it's really the only way it can grow. Um, Future Lore Studios can only do so much. You guys have to understand they're sitting here producing these cards. They're coming out with new expansions and putting a lot of work into it um, with a very small staff. And they're still able to do everything. Um, so it kind of is left up to us as the players of the game to reach out and try to help them expand, especially here in the United States where they don't have a lot of contacts since they are a Canadian based company. So that's my challenge to you guys. If you guys are really into Legion of Realms at War, start reaching out to your local. Uh, game shops and surrounding places towns and cities maybe even places you're from reach out contact them and let them know hey you know future lore is doing this uh you know they give the lgs's that pick up the game some free promotional posters and stuff um and let them know competitive plays coming out this summer with an all-new expansion and and if maybe if you can go to these places bring some of the legions cards with you and the rule book and kind of show them how it works so that's my challenge to you guys. If you're passionate, go above and beyond and really, really try to help this game grow because me personally, I see this game going to heights that I can't even fathom. I, it's just that type of game for me and this is my opinion. So enough about that. Um, like I said, we're, we plan on going up to the Scamden uh, Cards and Gaming. I'll put the links in the video to these stores so you can check them out as well. Um, and then when we go up there, you know, we'll, we'll do an interview, we'll do some gameplay with them, and then we'll do a little Q&A after the gameplay, see what their opinions on Legion's Realms at War is and how they actually enjoyed it. Um, so probably do a three-part video that day. Uh, I won't be doing any lives. I'll just record them, and then I'll come back and upload them to uh, my computer and then, and then uh, put them on Facebook and YouTube for everybody to check out. But anyways, I guess we'll just get really down to what everybody's probably mostly excited for. Uh, as, if you guys haven't heard, I do have some transparency reasons before I go to the giveaway. Um, I had a bit of a um, cardboard catastrophe catastrophe uh, last week. Um, it's, it just so happened to be the rainiest day of the week. We had the category three storms and I was actually carrying my um, spell box which holds all my legion decks and a couple of my magic uh, competitive decks and stuff. And um, I was walking to my car, I had my hands full, I guess the latches brushed up against my side and my spell box came open and knocked all my cards all over the road in the middle of this windstorm and uh, rainstorm and I lost uh, probably about 80% of the cards, it's actually probably more than 80% um, of my cards uh, for Legion's Realm of War that, that were in my playable deck. Luckily I have extras uh to fill in um but i'm of course missing the key components to play which is my veil my warlords and my synergies so um just for transparency reasons um future lore studios did reach out to me they did say hey we heard about your cardboard incident and uh as one of their content creators and their u.s community champion they are going to be sending me some stuff to help me rebuild that collection what that stuff is i don't know um i wasn't told um, I actually um, at first refused that because I feel like Future Lore Studios has done enough for me and my team already. Um, but Taylor's just that kind of guy. Future Lore Studios is that kind of company that they want to support their players. And um, as he said, especially me as a content creator that puts a lot of work into promoting their game and reaching out to places. Um, so they are sending me some stuff. What it is, I'm not sure. But once it gets here, of course, for transparency reasons, as I say, I'll be opening the box on a video so everybody can see what was sent me to help me replace my um, my collection. It's probably not going to be everything I had. I had some, you know, a lot of exalted rares and renowns and things like that. But um, anything really to help me at least rebuild decks to be able to play is good enough for me. Like I said, I, I didn't want to take the product. 
Um, but Taylor's like, it doesn't matter what you want to take, it's what you're taking um, because you're our, one of our community champs and stuff. So I 100% appreciate that. So Taylor, if you watch this video, uh, thank you so much to you and Future World Studios and your staff for doing that. You guys didn't have to do it. I was just going to actually go and buy some booster sets here and there or a couple packs here and there and slowly rebuild my collection. Um, so I do appreciate that. Um, but anyways, we'll just get into why everybody's probably really wants to check this video out. We are going to be doing this month our second um, Vetflix and Chills Tabletop Gaming Giveaway. Um, our first one was back in January. Um, we did a giveaway where we gave away uh, play mats, um, cards, uh, counters and, and things like that we had a lot of stuff that was actually we gave away on our first giveaway it's been a while since we did a giveaway because i want to let the community grow a little bit i want the channel to grow a little bit and i think it's at that point now where we've got a lot of people on our discord and a lot of people that are now watching the youtube channel and stuff like that that i think that we can start doing like monthly giveaways now it's not always going to be the same thing it's not going to be a booster set box every single month um, because that's obviously coming out of uh, my pocket and it can get rather expensive so the giveaways will change randomly, um, but I think we're at that that point that we can do that. Um, so this month uh, we're doing the giveaway. Um, there are some stipulations to being uh, able to win this giveaway. Um, one is you have to be a resident of the United States or Canada. Uh, that's just strictly because shipping fees and everything else like that. If I'm like trying to send stuff to Australia or you know one of these far far places it's going to cost me an arm and leg and probably more than the product's worth in shipping fees and things like that so you do have to be a u.s resident or a resident of canada so that's the first uh stipulation the second one is um you have to uh be a subscriber to our youtube uh because and a member of our discord because I need people to help this community grow. I can't do it by myself. And the more members we get, the more people we get hyped for Legion Realms at War and some of the other games we're going to be covering in the future. Um, the more people in this Discord help and hype up stuff up is going to help us help our community grow. Because the unfortunate truth is, I'm a people look at numbers. I'm not a numbers person. Um, I'm a small content creator, and I'm fine with that. Um, I make these videos not to make money. Um, everything that we do comes out of my pocket or some of the other pockets of the Vetflix team. Um, so everything we do is free. We don't charge people to join our Discord. We um, don't currently have a Patreon, which at some point, of course, I would like to have a Patreon. Um, but right now, we're just not at that level. Um, so everything we do is free. We don't. It's free to subscribe to YouTube video, you know, YouTube channels. It's free to join our Discord. I've never charged anybody to join a Discord. That's just that's just how I am. Um, but those are some of the stipulations. You got to be a member of our Discord a subscriber of our YouTube, and of course a U.S. Uh, resident or Canadian resident or Canada, resident of Canada, sorry. Um, so those are the three big stipulations to join the giveaway. Um, now, I will say this, if you join the Discord for the giveaway, and you win or you don't win, and then you leave the Discord, that will disqualify you from any future giveaways in the Discord. Uh, the last thing I want people to do is join a Discord or subscribe to me, my YouTube channel just to win a prize. And then if they don't get it or they get it, they leave uh, my Discord or whatever. I, I just think that's just a really crappy thing to do. I would never personally do that to anybody. Um, so that's just one of the other stipulations. If you join the Discord, you win the giveaway or don't win the giveaway and you leave, you will or the YouTube channel as well, you will not be eligible for any other future giveaways. My admin team will be keeping a very close eye. We, I have a tracking system for both YouTube and uh, Discord, so I will know who comes and who goes. So just know that I, me and my admin team are watching. Uh, so, and I don't think that's really too much to ask for. Uh, so yeah, we'll be doing a giveaway and it is for a uh, Ravage Lands booster set box. I know uh, we already got, uh, when I checked last, um, I just made the announcement uh, a few hours ago, and uh, I think there's already been uh, 10 people that's uh, hit the, the giveaway button inside our Discord. And that's where you have to be to be eligible for that uh, giveaway. You have to be in the score. It's in our giveaway uh, channel, and you have to hit the little uh, ta-da emoji, and that will put you into the giveaway. And then March 2nd, that's when we'll be announcing the um Winner. Now, if we go through and we find out, you know, you're not a U.S. citizen or a Canadian resident, 
or that you're not meeting the qualifications of being in the Discord of YouTube, uh, we will pull your name out as the winner and we will draw for a new winner the next day. So uh, just also asking, don't do that. Don't inconvenience the other members of the Discord that could possibly win um, and make us go through the hassle of having to try to redo another uh, winner. So those are the stipulations. I, as I said, I don't think it's too much to ask for uh, just to subscribe to YouTube channel and to a Discord community to help grow. Uh, like I said, we put a lot of work into helping um, Future Lore Studios grow their game, um, and we're going to be covering a lot of other games. I know that we have just been playing over the weekend. We've been playing some um, uh, Betrayal House, uh, Betrayal on House of the Hill. We we were going to do like an initial gameplay, uh, but we wanted to also know how the mechanics of the game worked. Um, so we decided to bust it open yesterday during Easter. Um, we had a bunch of people over, and we played. And, you know, we struggled through the first gameplay, um, as I knew we would, trying to figure out the rules and stuff. Uh, but uh, we slowly start figuring out. And, and I will tell you this right now, it was a very, very, very fun game. Um, even had my, my wife, Amber, or as you know, we're in the Discord, uh, Penny Pyro, she even joined us in playing it, and she even said it was a blast. Um, so uh, we, we played one game. I put it away and everybody's like, hey, let's that game back out. Let's play it again now that we actually know how to play it. So we played it a second time. And man, it was a ton of fun. Um, so I can't wait uh, to uh, get into that game. We're going to do like me and Caleb when, next time he can join me for a video. We're going to kind of go through the contents of the box, how we like the packaging. Because I always like to do that. Because I think that's an important thing is go through the uh, the packaging and how things are. And that, like I said, uh, a lot of people are like, well, you never have anything negative to say about, you know, Future War Studios or Legion's Rebel War. I have plenty of negative things to say about them. Um, I don't like the packaging they had for their dual decks. Uh, and I was very, very blatant about that because that's who I am. I'm an honest person. When it comes to things like that, I'm not going to sugarcoat stuff. I'm just, I'm very blunt. And anybody that knows me knows I'm that way. Um, I don't sugarcoat things and I don't spare feelings. Uh Future Lore Studios, their dual deck packs uh, packaging is one thing I hated about it. And I remember initially opening it, and it was like, oh my god, what is this? This is just crap. I, I can't stand it. Um, and then they listen. And that's the thing I like about Future Lore Studios. They listen because the next, you know, when Bound for Harvest came out, the packaging was totally different for those cards. And it was a lot more accessible and nicer. And now that we have the Blister set coming out for Frontiers this summer... I can't wait to see how now they're going to be doing the packaging going forward. So, yeah, I have negative things to say. I've talked about some of the mechanics I didn't like in uh, past videos um, and things like that. So, um, and not always just trying to be up Future Lore Studios, but uh, and, and, and try to get freebies as some of you um, uh, like to have uh, messaged me and told me. Um, that's not why I'm in it. I'm not in it for freebies. I'm not in this to make tons of money or for fame. I'm just in this because I love TCGs. I love tabletop games and board games, and I'm passionate about it. Caleb's passionate about it. A lot of the other people in, in the Netflix team are passionate about it. And we just like doing videos, playing games, and hanging out. So, yeah. So, uh, we do have the giveaway. Make So, make sure um, in the video I'll put the uh, links to the score um, and stuff like that. Join the Discord, um, and then March 2nd we'll be announcing the winner for the Ravage Lands booster set. And then uh, when Frontiers drops, we'll be also um, doing a um, giveaway for the Frontiers uh, when it drops, the new expansion. So um, the rest of this week, uh, Wednesday, tomorrow, I won't be doing any video content. I got a, a soccer game to go to. Um, I got uh, Wednesday, we might be dropping a video. We'll probably be doing some box openings. I think one of the fans has some Bountiful Harvest they want us to open on the uh, on this on the video uh, on YouTube. So we're probably gonna be doing that, and then maybe if I get the future lore box in uh, by then, we'll be opening some of that stuff. And then, um, Friday, I won't be doing any content because we have a uh, birthday event to go to for our good friend Julie, and um, my son's birthday is also this well, lyric. His birthday is all this week, so I've got a very very busy week, and it sucks because it comes off of a uh, holiday weekend where I didn't do, post any content because I was on vacation with my wife for four days. And so I was like, yeah, I'm not doing any content creating. I'm just going to hang out and, with her. And that's what we did. And unfortunately, it just, it just so happens that I've got all these birthdays and everything coming up uh, right after that. So it's going to kind of uh, halt some of our video creation creating for this week. Um, but we will be back the following week uh, full force. So um, we're going to be doing a lot of box openings and... Uh, pack openings and of course some uh, interviews with some LGS and that's what, what I was I talked to Caleb the other night 
Um, we do a lot of box openings and, and things like that, but you know, I also want to uh, start highlighting some of the LGSs in our area. So I'm re going to be reaching out to some of the owners of the LGSs to see if they'd like to sit down and do an interview so that we could talk about their store, what got them into games, um, and why they decided to open a store and uh, put, give them a little bit of uh, recognition as well. Because without LGSs, games like Legions and Magic and all that, you know, it's hard for them. Well, maybe not so much Magic because they have their online, but some of these games, you know, they're made to be played in person. And uh, without LGS is selling them or having us access to them, um, it's a very important and vital thing. So I want to sit down and talk to some of these LGS owners and uh, help them highlight their their uh, stores and put information on uh, social media so they can get a little bit more business and, and stuff like that. So um, that's going to be it for the night. Um, like I said, this is just a off the cuff kind of video. I just wanted to at least try to get some content out today. I probably rambled quite a bit. It's kind of hard when Caleb's not here because usually he's the uh, one keeping me on track. Um, so, uh, but yeah, giveaway. Make sure you join the Discord. Make sure you subscribe to YouTube. We will be watching. My admins are very, very serious in the Discord. They're always watching, especially my wife. I mean, she, I know she's always watching. So, um, yeah, join the Discord. Hit the subscribe button on YouTube and feel free to enter that giveaway and we will announce a winner for the Ravage Lands Booster Set Box on March 2nd. Uh, thanks everybody for showing up. Uh, thanks again um, Future Lore Studios for uh, sending me some stuff to help me rebuild my um, cardboard collection from Legions. I greatly appreciate it. And until next time guys, as I always say, when life has you down, roll for initiative and game on my friends. Until next video.